Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now I want to do a quick video here around a methodology that I've been using and I've been seeing, um, I've seen this being used in a lot of the best and most compelling reports that uh, I've seen created um, on some of our challenges but also just out there in the Power BI universe um, with others who are working inside Power BI. And what I'm talking about here is the ability, and this, it's simple, but it is really effective, the ability to hide pages in your reports, okay? Now, a lot of this functionality didn't used to exist in Power BI, but it now does, and um, I, I honestly use it basically in every report I create almost. Because what you wanna try and do, especially with your visualization and your navigation inside of Power BI, is you wanna make, a com you wanna create a compelling consumer experience, right? And when someone is online, uh, sometimes it can be hard to sort of navigate or, or, or tell tell the story that you want to tell if you've just got these pages that someone clicks through one page after the other. But if you can build a, 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 a navigation system into your reports, then the experience becomes far more application-like and can be far more compelling for the for the consumer of your of your insights. And so all you need to do to actually hide these pages is you, you obviously always wanna have one main page. And so this is the page that we've landed on here. But then I, I've hidden, even though there's information on these in my Power BI desktop, I've literally, I've hidden these um, when I actually publish, the, publish them, okay? So I, I, I hide page like this, okay? So then to actually get to this page though, I build my navigation experience into my report. And so in this particular case, I've used utilized buttons um, to go to a different page. And so you see, I get to the customer's page, but when I'm online, I don't actually, I don't actually see the customer's page to click on. I have to actually click on it through this particular navigation experience. And it's the same with a settings page that I've set up here as well, that, that is sort of cr can create the overall settings for the, um, for the particular report. Um, but I've, I've just added different icons and different ways that, that the user can sort of click through, click through to each page rather than them actually physically clicking the page itself, okay? And so when I actually come to um, the online experience here, so I, I brought this up in a published to web link, but it would be the same um, for if you were in the Power BI online service. But when you are in this particular experience, right, and I'll expand this to the full page, you'll see that um, the user has to it can it, they cannot actually click on a particular page so this is actually also good if you think about it those you, you can actually do a lot of sort of like workings right you can do a lot of um dummy workings or 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 just experimentation on a page but then hide it and it doesn't actually appear inside of your your report when it's in the online uh, in the online experience the only way that users in this um, when you do it this way to actually get to a particular page is if you um, allow them to via some navigation experience, right? So another great way to use hiding um, the, the hidden pages. Okay, and so to me, when I when I um, you know, experience this particular report now online, it is, it is a fully operating application where users can only click around to certain insights by actually clicking um, in the way that I want them to, okay? On the way that I want them to navigate through the information. So for me, it enables me to just en en enable a far better storytelling experience, okay? And that's what it comes down to. And the same actually goes for when you create um, Power BI apps. Like when you create, because ultimately you want to send, you want to distribute your main analysis and your reports in Power BI apps, right? If you hide pages, they don't appear in the navigation pane on the left-hand side of those apps. And so that's another um, important distinction uh, or important way that you might want users to navigate through a bunch of your reports that you've consolidated into one app, okay? So these are the sort of things you want to think about, especially as you're developing more and more inside of Power BI. Now I want to take you to another um, example. And, and as I say, all of the best examples of Power BI reports that I'm seeing now, they use the navigation experience, the, navig you know, the navigation tool set that we have inside of Power BI to take the user through the information. They don't have individual pages. It's just, I think, the, the, the way of the future. When you're building these applications, that's how you wanna do it, okay? And so um, here in this particular example, which was developed by some of our enterprise DNA experts, you know, this amazing um, report 
um, it's, it's very easy for the user to understand, okay, well, I, w I, w if I wanna go here, yep, I'm gonna click on this. If I wanna go and look at costs, I click on, I click on this, right? And so instead of having someone, and it just opens up, think about it, it opens up so many different ways that you can design your reports as well, right? Like it just would not look sensible to have, you know, a, a revenue page and a cost page and a profit page when you can actually embed it into a design like this where someone can just click and then be taken to that, that particular insight. Now, even though, you know, the, the pages actually exist in the report, you know, it, it just creates a, a really impressive look and feel, right? Hopefully, hopefully you sort of can can sort of get what I get where I'm going um, with this particular technique. It just it just creates a better experience when you're when you're viewing it, um, and and you know to actually do it and to create these sort of unique looks and feels where um, uh, it looks like it's sort of one application, but it can be many many different pages as well. So if I just come back to my example, this example here. Like this particular report, literally, you know, because of the background, it looks like it's just one application, it's one report. But hidden in behind here in the desktop version is about 13 different pages that are, are really replicas of the same look, look, but with different information embedded into that particular page. And then all that's happening is that they're using this simple, um, this simple uh, like menu bar up the top. Uh, and then the ability to sort of click through within these um, within these certain visuals or the the way that these um, insights have been set out, and it just creates like tons of different looks, right? Like tons of different ways that you can look at your information and and make the um, way the consumer uh, evaluates uh, the the data that is important to them. Um, there's just so so many so much variability in the way that you can do that. Okay, so simple tip. So no need to um, go any further here. Um, just just something I really wanted to drill down on as I'm seeing this in, in all the best um, all the best uh, visualizations and, and reports that I'm seeing come coming through um, through the wires. Okay, take care. Uh, look really look forward to next time. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.